good afternoon you guys i would say good morning but it's like 2 30 in the afternoon at this point um i'm starting off a new weekly vlog today is monday and i need to do some skincare right now i don't know how it's already 2 30 in the afternoon i'm about to go to trader joe's but i feel like my oh gosh my toner just like exploded all over the place but i feel like my skin is kind of feeling a bit drab so i'm gonna do some skincare first and change because it's actually really hot out today um it's been super cold like wear a coat kind of weather and like uggs and a jacket but today it's like 70 degrees and tomorrow and i think wednesday it's gonna be in the 80s which is crazy because it's been so cold that i've been having like frost all over my windows and now it's all of a sudden gonna be like in the 80s again so that's new england for you welcome back to my channel a little fall vlog who knows what this week will entail i just spent uh, most of the morning working on my ipad kind of writing down you know all the things for october since today is october 2nd i felt like i needed to just you know figure out my life for the next month not just like youtube stuff but also just appointments when bills are due i'm honestly not even done yet because planning stuff out in my ipad takes me so long i don't know if it's because i get distracted or if it's just like something that takes a long time in general but i could be on my ipad planning out a month for like a whole 24 hours like i don't know it takes me so long but i took a pause on that because i'm like wait i need to go to trader joe's or like just a grocery store in general and i've been wanting to go to tj's for a minute and kind of just see what the fall vibes are there i've been trying to eat a lot more basic just like minimal meals like i don't know i've just been liking having like more of the same stuff every day and not going too far rogue because i think that's when i tend to like mess up my diet plan i don't know i'm just i do better when i am focusing on the basics so that's what i'm trying to do but i want to go to trader joe's and see if it's any more affordable than um going to shaw's or shop and shop or something because these days you just never know i literally got ready like 30 minutes ago and i was looking for my camera everywhere because i put it down and i couldn't find it but i finally located it here's my little outfit it's giving i'm gonna work out later because i figured if i put on the clothes i'm more inclined to go after i get home so this is from abercrombie i have on like a little black sports bra underneath these leggings i love these these are from crop shop boutique i love crop shop boutique it's like one of my favorite activewear brands my shoes i'll link these down below they're a little dirty i got them dirty one day when i was like hiking or doing something outside but they are really good workout sneakers specifically for cardio and running so i think they're called like the pegasus or something i'll leave the exact ones that i have down below they look a lot better than this when they're clean but they're also super comfortable and then just my saint laurent bag i just got into my car and it's actually such a nice day out like it feels so good out it says in my car it's 72 so it's like the perfect kind of like crisp air with a little bit of a breeze uh-oh not the police hopefully everyone's okay oh my goodness yep here it comes okay there they go what i was gonna say before all that happens was since it's so nice out and it's gonna be nice out tomorrow and wednesday i need to clean out my car it's not even funny how essential it is for me to clean up my car like it is a disaster in here it needs to just be vacuumed i don't know about washing it on the outside I could go to my mom's and actually wash it at her place if i really want to because it's a disaster in here like you don't even you don't even want to see so maybe that can be a project for this week is cleaning up my car yeah, i'm gonna listen to some music and vibe out in trader joe's just gonna black out in there and see what i get I am back 
home now. I don't know what's going on, but I do not feel the best at all. I say I don't know what's going on, but I kind of do. I have been sleeping so poorly for the last like week. Yeah, exactly a week since like last Monday. I have been sleeping so bad. I feel like I'm getting like two hours of good sleep a night and every single night I can't fall asleep until like six o'clock in the morning. At the latest, I wake up at like eight o'clock. So I've been getting terrible sleep. Like I literally have just been laying in the bed with my eyes closed, waiting to fall asleep for hours. So I think that's why I do not feel good at all. I was had full intentions on going to the gym, but I just feel so lightheaded. Like when I was driving, I felt terrible. I'm gonna shower and stuff right now because maybe that'll make me feel better getting nice and clean and then start going to the gym tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can fall asleep tonight at like 10 o'clock, get some good sleep in and be able to wake up tomorrow morning like ready to go and feeling better. I don't know what it is. I've just been feeling like absolute shit. But I went to Trader Joe's and to Stop and Shop. Trader Joe's was a zoo as expected, but like what the heck? When is it dead there? If you work in a Trader Joe's, what's a good time to go? I feel like they're all kind of like the same, that they're all normally very busy. So if you work at one, what time should I go at to where I can avoid the craziness? I didn't think I was gonna get all that much stuff, but I ended up getting quite a bit. Tonight I'm gonna make the Berea pizza that I've been seeing all over TikTok and I'm really excited about it. So of course I got some pizza crust. I actually really like this one. I think it tastes really good. Um, they have like, you know, the raw pizza dough as well, but this is easier and I think it tastes just as good and there's two of them, so it works out well. I needed some eggs and Trader Joe's has the best prices for eggs. These were like $4, you can't beat that price. They're so expensive everywhere else. I also got some arugula. As much as I can, I'm trying to eat healthier, so I didn't want to get any of like the fall desserts or like anything too crazy i got a couple things you'll see but i didn't get a ton of stuff garlic spread dip i love this stuff and i'm gonna add it to the pizza tonight i also got some feta because i've been seeing so many people literally everything i do is because of tiktok but i've been seeing so many people on tiktok um put feta with their eggs in the morning and it looks really good i got some burrata i recently had burrata for the first time i'm not even gonna lie and it was really good. I think I had it at Kenzie's house and she made it with like peaches or something. It was delicious. So I want to do some type of recipe with that. Frozen things, these need to be put away ASAP. Of course, I got some of the chicken soup dumplings. This is new actually. And I think I'm really going to like this. Um, it's a guaca salsa is what it's called. If you can read that, guaca salsa. It's basically a salsa verde guacamole mix and I love salsa verde and the cashier was like oh my god I've never seen this before so I was like oh I'm so excited and then I've never had this before but people go crazy for it every year so when I saw it they had a bunch of them I was like all right I'll try it out butternut squash mac and cheese everyone loves it so I'm gonna make that at some point this week and then of course for the birria pizza I got the um birria from Trader Joe's, which I've never had before. Normally I make my own. I've shown it in a vlog before and it's just so good, but that takes like eight hours out of my day and it's like so expensive. So I decided I would give this a go and see if it tastes similar to my own. We have one more bag to go through. Cilantro, it's kind of innovative that they put it in this little like Ziploc or reusable bag. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Spooky Bats and Cats Sour Gummy. Candies, it's just like the Scandinavian swimmers that they have, but the Halloween ones. I'm a sucker for a seasonal candy, so we'll see how those are. These are weird. Should we try one of these right now? Let's try one, you guys. Pumpkin tortilla chips. I didn't know how to feel, but I was like, I'll just get them and try them on the vlog. I don't know what you would dip these in. Oh, I don't know what it is, but they smell super familiar. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. They smell like they would be a savory chip, but there is, you can taste the pumpkin right away, and there is cinnamon and nutmeg with them. So I'm wondering what these would be good to have with it. Ready to meet any salsa or even a yogurt based dip. Honestly, they're pretty good, and you can really taste the pumpkin. They're made with like pumpkin puree. I'm like still chewing. I didn't get many vegetables, but I did get some broccoli. I got a spaghetti squash. I saw a girl, guess where? 
yes tiktok i saw a girl on tiktok um make this like she used feta but i think i'm gonna use ricotta and cherry tomatoes and chicken in the spaghetti squash and it looked really good oh no i just like nicked the squash and now it's like all messed up got pumpkin bread or pumpkin bread and muffin mix i want to make this this week with like some pumpkin um what is it called pumpkin drizzle like a pumpkin flavored ow, like a pumpkin flavored frosting i also got a pumpkin oat beverage i guess i did get a good amount of pumpkin things pumpkin oat beverage so i'll add this to my coffees in the morning told y'all i love a good salsa verde so i got the trader joe's one i want to have that with my pizza tonight so for the pizza i got a white onion that's why i got the cilantro as well and then the very last thing that i got is some pumpkin pie spice that i'm going to add on top of my pumpkin bread when i make it and this will be good in coffee too and stuff so my total today was 69.60 20 items for just about 70 bucks that's pretty good and then i also went to stop and shop i only got a couple things there because now i feel like i'm pretty set for like the rest of the week on groceries um i got the caramel cold brew from nature's promise if you have a stop and shop near you i really like this for iced coffee and it's way more affordable than most other iced coffees like the fact that the starbucks one is nine dollars now it just doesn't sit right with me i've never seen this before but i think i'm gonna use it tonight drizzle it on the pizza i don't really know if it's you know very traditional for berea but i'm gonna add some of this crema i have never seen this at the grocery store but it'll make it so much easier to like drizzle sour cream on certain dishes it'll just look prettier too like i am very stoked about this i've never seen it before stop and shop has some interesting things they have a lot more variety than shaw's but they're just so much more expensive than shaw's i got some ricotta maybe i'll use feta in it too but i don't know i feel like ricotta sounds really good and then lastly my proteins for the week i chose two that were actually on sale so i saved money today this is ground beef the 85 percent lean was on sale for like a crazy deal so i got this for like six bucks and then the chicken was also on sale. So I got this for $6.20, which is way better than it normally is. It's normally like $11. So I'm really excited. I feel like I got some good stuff and I'm really excited for the pizza tonight. I just need to shower and then we're gonna start making it because I'm actually kind of hungry. I need to put stuff away ASAP, but I'm actually gonna try these as well right now. The spooky bats and cats. I just want like one little gummy. I wanna see if they, are the same flavors i don't think so i think they're different flavors than the regular scandinavian swimmers they're the same flavors but there's only three there's a little cat so you see kind of hard to show it's a little cat with its like back arch that green flavor is new and that's really good it's like a green apple i got out of the shower a little while ago not that you can probably tell because i didn't wash my hair since i am gonna go to the gym early tomorrow morning and i don't like washing my hair late at night because then i don't blow dry it and i like blow drying it because it lasts a lot longer like the longevity before i have to wash it again i'm gonna wash it and do like my everything shower tomorrow but i took out all of the ingredients i have the oven preheating to 425 i keep saying berea but i know it's birria it's just a bad habit and i'm sorry if i'm offending anyone i'm trying to fix it birria i'm just gonna microwave that because if you do it on the stove top you have to let it thaw out in the fridge overnight i'm just gonna go the simple way and microwave it but other than that these are all the ingredients that i'm gonna use i have the pizza crust mozzarella cheese cilantro the crema I'm gonna add some jalapeno peppers. These are just like nacho jalapeno slices. I like these on certain things because they get nice and soft. I don't have that many more, so I'm gonna have to use them pretty sparingly. I'm gonna add some of this garlic, what is it called? Garlic spread from Trader Joe's. If you've never tried this before, it's really, really good. I'm gonna add some of that to the pizza. I'm also gonna add some of this, if it'll focus, there we go. It's basically just like spicy chili peppers. I don't know, I want my birria to be spicy. And then lastly, some white onion. So it should be pretty simple. If you guys haven't seen this on TikTok, all you have to do is search on TikTok birria pizza trader joe's and you will see a million tutorials on it so it's very overdone at this point but i've been wanting to try it for a couple weeks now so today is finally the day
The birria is out of the microwave. And now, I tasted it, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously my home, oh. Not gonna lie, obviously my homemade one tastes a lot better, but this just saved me eight hours. So the next thing you have to do, is kind of just like brush some of the consomme all over. At least that's what I've been seeing people do on the tickety talk. So I'm gonna brush some of this on, kind of like on the crust and everything. It's just kind of like mushy. Like, oh, if you guys want to make this from scratch, watch one of my previous vlogs. I'll leave it linked on the screen right now. I just, it tastes so much better when you make it with love. But like I said, this does save you some time. So I guess there's that. Now I'm just taking the meat and I'm going to place that all over the best that I can. I guess I should try and like not have too much of the broth on the pizza and just get some of the meat on there. I don't know, do you see how it kind of looks like ground beef? <laughs> meat right here, this piece is like all fat. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna take some of the onion, sprinkle that all over. I did like a quarter of an onion. Now I'm just craving my actual birria, but Whatever, let me not be grumpy anymore. Let me like stay positive about this. All right, now I'm gonna do the cheese. I have finely grated mozzarella. I love how I was just saying that I wanna eat really healthy and now I'm making this, but like I said, I'm definitely not gonna have more than a third of this and then I'm gonna have leftovers for lunch for days. Okay, finally for now, we're gonna add some of these pickled jalapenos. Like I said, I don't have that many left, so they're gonna be very far and few between. Oh, I just made a mess. Okay, now this is gonna go in the oven at 425. I don't know for how long I'm gonna put it in there. looks stunning the only regret that I have is putting it on this tin foil because it's kind of stuck towards the middle I'm gonna get a pizza cutter right now I wanted to take it off the tin foil so that way the bottom of this got a little bit more baked but it was just too hard so we're gonna cut into it now I already took all my pictures Um, my camera is flashing that it's gonna die, so hopefully it doesn't before we do a taste test. I always get questions about where these bowl plates are from, and they're from Target by the Project 62 line. I have a ton of them, and they're really good for, I mean, really anything, but specifically like salads or things that are in between, obviously, using a plate and a bowl. I'm just gonna do these two corner pieces since they're not stuck to the tin foil at all. And since I don't have much consomme left, I think I'm gonna fill this little dish with some salsa verde. I've been having a lot of trouble opening things. I could not open that crema for the life of me. I love salsa verde so much. Okay, we're gonna do a quick taste test. Like I said, my camera is flashing, so I don't have much time. Okay, let's give this a taste test. I was a little skeptical, but this is pretty good. I would rate it like a, a solid eight out of 10. It was so easy too. The like spicy chili paste on the bottom and then the jalapenos makes it so much better because I like it more spicy and I think the Trader Joe's birria is not really that spicy. When I make mine from scratch, I make it really spicy. So I needed that extra added spice, but this is delicious. I'm gonna enjoy my pizza on the couch and watch some Real Housewives.
Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday evening. Hopefully you guys are ready for this because it's so scary, but I am going to show you this closet of mine. It is so bad. I like don't wear, I swear, like any of this workout stuff. I mean, I want to keep it, but like all the stuff that I normally wear is just missing and I have like random blankets, this big cardboard box that has like so much stuff in it. I don't even know where to begin, but we are gonna try and go through this. I'm literally holding my camera on this giant tripod. Also, my hair looks ridiculous. I'm at that point where I just need to get my hair done. Like, you know when your hair just needs a professional clean, it needs, you know, the roots touched up, it needs a trim, it needs styling, it needs all the things. That's how my hair is right now. Like, it's a lost cause. I literally put it up in like the most hideous half up, half down. It's not even really straight. I look like a bird. I'm just like so annoyed with it. Like it really affected my mood and pissed me off. So I'm gonna try and do something different. Switch gears here a little bit and do this closet because this is a big stressor for me I feel like it's a big reason why I haven't been working out as much because like this is not inspiring to open this up and see this disaster so we're gonna start going through it now I'm gonna play um, probably the toast or another podcast of sorts and just go through the mess this was organized when I moved in like I don't know what is wrong with me All right, this actually kind of made me mad because it like looks, don't get me wrong, a million times better than it did, but I ran out of hangers. I feel like I need to get some sort of storage system for down here, like a couple of those shelves, like the one that I got for my laundry room. I feel like I need to get another one to go down here, even two of them, just to make things look more organized. I hate the fact that I have like black hangers, gray hangers, white hangers. It drives me insane, but at least it's more organized now and until I get more hangers, I can just put stuff up here. 
Um, I tried my best with the resources that I have right now. Again, a million times better. My vacuum will go right there, but I'm still cleaning and vacuuming right now. I have like my mops over there, one of my suitcases right there, random pillows. Like I just don't know what to do with this stuff. Oh Lord. But yeah, I tried to color coordinate. I have like all my sports bras, some tops, and then leggings, shorts, and extra sports bras are up there that I didn't have room for. I could barely open this closet up a couple days ago, so it's, in improvements but we still have work to do here in the next couple weeks i want to really truly revamp this but for now at least it feels slightly better It's Thursday afternoon, almost nighttime. I have felt like I've been in a rut recently. I don't know, I just haven't been liking my hair. My skin has been so bad recently. Um, shall I go on? Like, I just haven't been feeling confident. So naturally this happens, trying out something new. I am so bad at being a girl. Like, I don't know how to do my hair. I really don't know how to do makeup either. I feel like I don't know how to do all the girl things. So we're trying out rollers. We're gonna see how this goes. I put all these in and now I'm gonna wait like, I don't know. The bottom ones have already been in for like 20 minutes or so, but the top ones haven't been in for that long. I don't know if I should blow some hot air on them. I definitely didn't do this right. Like, let's be real here. Let's call it what it is. I definitely messed this up one way or another. I tried to watch a million TikToks on it. I'm tired of my hair. I feel like my hair lately, like when I blow dry it too, it just feels so heavy and it feels like still dirty even after I just wash it. And I think it's just because I need to go get it done. Like I need to go have a professional take a look at it and fix it. It's been a minute since I got my hair done and my roots are so bad because last time i went i went like strawberry blonde and now obviously like the bottom half of my hair has faded so much that it's just back to blonde and then i have like this giant root when i put my hair up in a ponytail or in a bun it looks like i have two different sets of hair like the bun is blonde and then my whole root up until the bun is like this brownish red color like half brown because it's my natural hair and then half red from when she did the red roots it's just a mess today and that's why i didn't vlog yesterday i was just like so annoyed with my hair and my skin too like i don't know why i have been breaking out so much along my jaw i normally have pretty good face skin but lately even that hasn't been good for me and i've been breaking out so much on my back and my chest so if you're having a rough confidence day or week or month or year whatever it is I'm with you, okay? Just know you're not alone. I'm trying to do whatever it takes to get my mojo back and get to feeling good again. But I'll be honest, right now, I don't feel my greatest. I really don't. But happy Thursday. I'm gonna wait like 20 minutes or so and then we'll take these out and see how badly I messed up. And then I'm prepared to like re-dice in my hair and fix it after because I'm determined to make my hair look good for once. Okay guys, it has been, I don't even know how long. Let's see, I was on the phone with my mom. So let's see how long I was on the phone with her. 17 minutes and they were already probably in for like 10 minutes before I called her. So now we are going to take them out. I'm impatient. I know some people leave them in for like hours, but they may not even look good. So if I leave them in for hours and they look terrible, that's just wasted more time. So 
I know when you're supposed to like take them out. I'm gonna start from the bottom since those are the first ones I put in. You're supposed to like, ow. Twist, you're supposed to like twist them or like curl them. Um, okay. Listen, I don't have high hopes for this at all, you guys. Literally at all. But maybe it's like a learning curve. And I will get better as time goes. I mean, that's a little curly. Let me know. Ow, they kind of hurt. Like low key. cars outside are so loud right now so i apologize if you hear that but guys i mean knowing my hair it's definitely gonna fall flat in a couple minutes but look at this volume i never have anything even close to that kind of love should i like flip my hair i'm trying not to run my fingers through it too much because then i feel like it'll just fall super flat but this volume at the top of my head normally my hair is just like so flat right here I mean, let's be real it's a mess but for my first time ever attempting to do this i'm kind of feeling it i feel like if i do this like six more times i'll get good at it and then i'll never want to go back to anything else you guys will have to let me know what you think but like this top part of my head hasn't looked this good since i went to the hair salon like i don't even care about anything else but like this volume, I can't believe that I actually have the slightest minuscule amount of volume in my hair. All right, I just made dinner. I didn't film it because it's so basic. It's just ground beef, mozzarella, rice with cilantro and lime juice, the crema I bought the other day, salsa verde, and fajita veggies. So super simple meal but it looks amazing and I am so hungry right now. I was just on the phone with my mom again and I was like, mom, I have to go because I need to eat this. I haven't had ground beef in so long, so I'm actually really excited. Hi, it is Friday now. I know, I've been vlogging more than I typically do, but still not that much. But I didn't really have much else exciting to vlog yesterday, so I was like, I'm not even gonna bore them with nothingness but i'm super excited right now because i just got a big package in the mail if you can see right here from revolve Revolve let me pick out a bunch of new pieces for the month and i thought i would go through and show you guys everything i got i desperately need to self tan tonight like looking at myself in the natural lighting i'm like oh i need i need some tanner on my body you can see we have a big package here with tons of goodies so i'm gonna go through everything i got with you guys right now and i'll leave it all linked down below i'm so excited i feel like i haven't gotten new clothes in a minute and i really like revolve stuff i've worked with them quite a few times and their stuff is really good quality it is pretty expensive but i try when i order stuff from them to order from like the super down line or a couple other lines that they have or brands that they have that are more affordable Some of the stuff i got is a little bit pricey if i remember correctly but other stuff is also really affordable so there's a good mix of both okay this first thing that i got it's kind of more red in person i thought it was gonna be like a fuchsia pink but it's still cute and i think i'll use this definitely for the holiday season it's like a super oversized v-neck sweater kind of moments and this is by the brand Tula Rosa I feel like now that I see it in person and it's more of a reddish bright red color I think this will be perfect for Christmas time and I feel like we're gonna have a crazy winter I feel like it will definitely be cold like around 
December because some years it's not cold in December but I think this year it's gonna be a cold winter um, I got everything I'm pretty sure in a size medium unless they told me things run large then I got them in a size small I got this bodysuit this is by lovers and friends I got this in a medium and I believe I own this already in a tan color and I really liked it so I opted to get the white one because I think this is a good going out top I love how all of Revolve's bodysuits are a thong on the bottom it just makes things so much easier and it has little buttons all down the front which is nice because you can control like how much cleavage you want showing so just a little white ribbed bodysuit this is kind of fun I wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and I pictured this with like some black leather pants what brand is this? Oh, this is Lovers and Friends too. This is another sweater. I got a lot of like winter things. Wow, this is really soft and thick. Look at this pattern. This is crazy, but I just picture this with some black leather pants, my little black mini bag. I think that would look so cute. Obviously I had to try all this stuff on, but wow, this is a heavy, nice quality, thick sweater like this the inside isn't the sweater material it's more of like a different type of fabric so it's not going to be itchy i'll have to try it on and see but it's just fun i know this is not going to be for everyone but i wanted to get some fun different things okay speaking of difference this is by lovers and friends again i didn't even realize i ordered quite a bit of stuff from them oh i think this is so cute clearly i'm in like a sweater mood right now so this is a little what is it called argyle green white black yellow all the colors what did I get this in does it say what size I got this in a medium too I don't know I just kind of pictured this like with some jeans unbuttoned with like a nice black maybe skims bodysuit underneath I think that would look really cute and just like this is a fun way to spice up an outfit with all the basics that I already have because I have so many bodysuits in like every color and then I just like layering with things like that Speaking of bodysuits, this one, what brand is this? Oh my god, I was gonna say, don't tell me lovers and friends, but it is. I guess I got a lot of stuff from them. Ooh, this is so soft. So I got another bodysuit from lovers and friends. This one is a v-neck and it's just a black and white stripe simple pattern. They have this also in a really pretty burgundy wine kind of color and I thought that was really cute as well. I opted for the striped one because I don't really own many striped things and I thought it was like, Different but subtle enough where it's not too much and I love a good bodysuit like this with a v-neck that you can wear a bra Comfortably with make the girls look good feel snatched. What size did I get this in medium? We have a super down piece. Oh, no, my camera is flashing red. We'll see if I can finish this haul little super down hoodie little cropped tan hoodie has like cinching at the waist. I just thought this was like a simple good thing that i know i'll wear a ton i really liked this color even though it's like literally my skin tone right now i actually think that's darker than my skin tone at the moment other piece from super down this was in my favorite color so i just couldn't resist it a little like cropped sleeveless sweater doesn't really make much sense but i just love this color i think this is one of those shades that just looks good on every skin tone i got this in a medium as well simple silhouette but i love this color so good okay this is from <laughs> wow lovers and friends again this one i'm really excited about it's a jacket or a shacket i think is what they're called these days camera ended up dying but it's okay i'm back with a new battery here is my new shacket this is actually really nice and thick i got this in a medium as well so here's what it looks like cropped Shacket. This is super cute. I don't own many like flannel Stereotypical fall type things. So I think that's why I was ordering a bunch of sweaters and all that kind of stuff I only got one pair of pants. I always get nervous ordering bottoms specifically on um, Online because like I hate not trying them on and revolve carries so many brands that like their sizing is so different from brand to brand like I one time I got a pair of girlfriend denim from them in my normal size and they like literally are so big on me they don't stay up at all and I got another pair one time and they were my normal size and they wouldn't even close to button on me these are by super down what size did I get these I got them in a size 28 they probably told me that they run a little bit big these are so cute they have a little um cut out like right underneath the butt 
and that's the only one on them. They're called the Bailey. That's funny because my last name is Bailey. Bailey butt slit jean. Why does it say slit? Do they have slits on the bottom? I guess just like the butt slit is why they call them slit jeans. I don't know. I thought I could use another pair of denim, but we'll see if these in a 28 fit me. To me, they look a little bit small, but who knows? We'll see. Definitely going to try all of this stuff on. What is this? This is from Super Down Crop Top. I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. This one is kind of one of those ones where I either have to just show you guys or show it on the model on the website, but it's basically a black crop top and then it has like this almost like a bikini. It literally is like a bikini that goes underneath and then you put like the sleeves on and stuff. It's looked really cute on the website. I was interested to see how it was going to be constructed in real life and this isn't what I was expecting, but it works. I got this in a medium and it's a nice material. It's very stretchy, almost like spandexy, which I like in going out tops. So we'll see how this is when we try it on. I'm out of breath, y'all. I have two more things to go through for now. It's a little going out top that I kind of took a risk on getting because it's different for me. It's very cropped. It's by the brand Majorelle. Okay, it's really cute. I love this wine color. It's a little crop top that has like this string. I don't know if you're supposed to tie that or just let it be loose like that and then it just kind of literally goes over your boobs and goes into some mesh sleeves. Out of my comfort zone because it's super, super cropped, but I've been working out lately, so maybe I will get enough confidence to wear this at some point this winter. I think this is so cute. I love all the little ruffles, and I love this color. I've been obsessed with this wine shade recently. Last piece. I was really excited about this one. This is one of the first things that I added to my cart. It comes in a bunch of different shades. This is by Super Down. Interesting. She's more mesh and see-through than I thought, but it's this little crop top this would be so good for new year's eve i might have to save it for that and like force myself to go out so that way i can wear this how cute it has a zipper in the back and it's just so fun wait this is like a new year's eve top it is a little bit see-through i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but i would probably just wear it with like a black bra and be good to go or maybe a nude bra no i think black i don't know I'm getting too far ahead of myself but i just couldn't resist this i thought it was so fun and like sparkly this is a new year's eve moment for sure all right that is officially everything for my revolve haul those are all the pieces that i got i'll leave them linked down below and like my revolve favorites and stuff thank you to revolve for sending me all these goodies i am so excited i love new clothes of course and i always shop at revolve like whenever i'm going on a trip or whatever like when i went to the bahamas i bought a ton of stuff from there before i went because they have super fast shipping for one and they have like really good going out tops or like statement pieces um statement sets if you're looking for something that you know you can take a picture in revolve is like the place to go for at least a couple pieces in my opinion and like i said you cannot beat their shipping like i ordered my bay's weekender from them as well because their shipping is just so fast it's i think it's two day shipping no matter what um and sometimes you can like get it even quicker than that so i love revolve for that that's like my favorite thing about them i have a whole mess to pick up behind me i think i'm gonna make those pumpkin muffins in a little bit it's kind of like a rainy dreary friday out and i just want to chill i already ran my errands for the day i had to go back to trader joe's to get a couple more things nothing really exciting but yeah i ran all my errands for the day so now i can just chill at home i'm probably gonna try on everything and show you guys tomorrow morning after i clean my place but i didn't even zip this fully up because i'm by myself but how good is this top oh my god i want it in like every color the green that they had was so pretty and it's a really like stretchy comfortable top actually but it's just so pretty oh my god this is my new year's top
Hello, I've been baking and getting ready to start prepping for dinner. I'm about to take these muffins out. Oh my God, they look perfect. They're literally like little domes. I feel like it's not translating on camera how good they actually look. Pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. And while I make dinner and eat dinner, I'm gonna let them cool. And then I think we'll frost them afterwards. Or not frost, but um, dip them in like a drizzle. I have to do this with two hands, but I just had to show you. Fresh out of the oven, these look beautiful. Especially this one right here. That one is stunning. Okay, I got them out and they look so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at these you guys wow i'm gonna let them cool right here i'm gonna keep the oven on 400. i want to make this bread that i had extra uh, and i was like you know what i'll just use this spooky little dish that i have it makes perfect sense but this needs to be at 350 for like an hour so i'm gonna put it in after i finish making my pizza so the other day i made a recipe for what i eat in a day with ricotta and i had a ton extra so i decided to whip it up with some honey seasonings milk and olive oil so now we have like a whipped ricotta so it's not just basic it's it's whipped it's fun i got more pizza crust at trader joe's today as well i'm gonna do like a hot honey pepperoni Pizza. The main reason I went to Trader Joe's today was to get the spicy hot honey because I'm obsessed with this and I haven't had it for a minute and I miss it so much. I put it on literally everything, so we're going to put it on the pizza today. I think it's going to be amazing. All right, y'all, I have the pizza out. I just need to gather all the ingredients of everything that I'm putting on it and I don't want to forget anything. All right, base of the pizza, if it'll focus. There we go. First thing is the same as the birria one, the garlic spread so I'm gonna put a good amount of this all over the bottom this just smells so good if you like garlic you will just love this oh I just realized I meant to brush the edges with some olive oil I'm gonna do that after this step so that way I don't forget because I want the edges to be nice and crispy and I'm not gonna put this on Tin foil this time. I'm just gonna do it. Is it in focus? I'm just gonna do it straight on the rack. Try not to make a mess. I just think putting it straight on the rack gets the bottom a little bit crispier. All right, now we take our little brush. This is gonna be messy. Oh, I didn't open this. I'm like, why isn't it coming out? Okay. Just gonna add little dots of olive oil now taking the brush brush it all along the edges again ideally we would have done this before <laughs> i put the garlic spread down but i've been forgetful all day today so we're working with what we have this is kind of inspired by a pizza that i had in the Bahamas actually, that was so good and I've been thinking about it for so long. I see a lot of people on the clock app using this red pesto as a base to pizza. So I bought it today at Trader Joe's. It is tomato based pesto sauce. It actually smells really good. I need a smaller spoon though. Okay, so we're gonna add a good amount of this cause this is gonna be our pizza sauce instead of a regular one. It smells good, but it smells like a like a pasta sauce, you know, because obviously it's like a pesto. I mean, what else would you use this for? Would you use it in pasta? Get this on there the best, spread it out the best that I can. My mom actually got me for Christmas, um, what did she get me? She got me a pizza stone and I need to use it. Like, oh my God, I need to use it so bad, but I need to use fresh pizza dough for that and make like a circular pizza. Okay, other things I'm gonna add is obviously the whipped ricotta. I think I'm gonna start with just a super thin layer of mozzarella cheese. This is light mozzarella from Trader Joe's. Just a little bit of that as like a base cheese. Next up is my favorite pepperoni. I love pepperoni, so I'm gonna add kind of a lot. I don't know, I'm just in a pizza kick right now, clearly. Been all about the pizza. Let me know if you guys eat pizza with 
pineapples on it. I don't think I've ever tried it before. I'm not opposed to it. I like kind of like weird things, but I've just never had an opportunity to get it. And it's not one of those things where like, if I'm gonna be ordering pizza from a restaurant, I'm not gonna try having pineapple on pizza for the first time. Cause then what if I hate it? And then it's like a waste of money. I need somebody else that I'm like out with to order it. And then I can just try some in an ideal situation. Okay, I changed the angle a slight bit. Now I'm gonna take this whipped ricotta and just add spoonfuls of this throughout the pizza. I made so much of this. You really don't need to make that much. I don't know why I did that, but what's done is done. So I'm gonna add a good heaping amount of this. I love ricotta, so the more, the merrier, I think. I'm gonna try my hardest to add as much as I can, fit as much on this pizza as I possibly can. Something else that would be really good with this is like a, a spicy sausage. I don't have any though. Um, well, this is all pretty much a Trader Joe's meal. Hot and sweet jalapenos. Got these today as well, because you guys know, I ran out of jalapenos the other day, and I really like these ones from TJ's. They're good. They're a little bit different than a regular jalapeno, obviously, because they have some sweetness to them. That should be good. I think we're good on adding shit to this pizza. I already have the oven preheated to 400. I don't know if I should do it for more than that. Let me see what the crust says. 425 okay let me switch that up oh my god it looks so good i'm so excited Yeah, I know y'all see Lulu on the counter. I know, she does what she wants. She's like my little angel, so I'll just clean the counter <laughs> before I use it again. The pizza has like four or five minutes left and then I'll kind of like see and maybe I'll put it for like another five because I like a very burnt crust, we know this. So TBD on that. I took the muffins out of the muffin tin, letting them cool down and I'm going to have a drink and I thought I would tell you guys, I've been really liking these. The Spritz Society, this one is the blood orange. I there we go. Um, I don't know, I've just heard a lot about it. I saw Skinny Confidential did uh, like a collab with them and made like a pink lemonade one, which I should have ordered because it sounded so good. I believe it's like a wine spritzer. Blend of premium sparkling wine with natural fruit flavors. It's called Spritz Society. Found it at my local liquor store. 120 calories per can. Does it say the alcohol percentage? Camera, no surprise, is flashing red. It's just because I've been filming so much more. I don't know, I can't find the, oh, 6% alcohol, so really not much at all. Yeah, this blood orange flavor is pretty decent. I know they came out with like a pickle one that like sold out super quick, but I wish I ordered that one as well because that sounds so different and fun just to have and try with friends. I like the packaging on it. It's fun and cute and fresh. I drink this while I wait for my pizza. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry right now. And I've been craving this pizza all day. So it's like finally time. And hopefully I didn't hype it up too much in my head and it's actually good. I was a little worried about the ricotta spilling over in the oven and having a disaster, but I have the oven light on and so far so good. Nothing is like, spilling i really don't know how i'm gonna get it out of the oven but i think that's a problem that we're gonna figure out along the way i can't believe it but i did it and it was actually really easy to get out of the oven i just put the cutting board by the wire rack and i used my pizza cutter to move the pizza onto the cutting board i did it you guys it was very easy now i'm gonna let the pizza cool down for a couple minutes before i cut into it but it's time to drizzle it with a heaping, oh gosh, a heaping amount of hot honey. It's so good. Like, do you see how the honey is like glistening on top? Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this, but it needs to cool down for like 
three minutes or so. I don't like cutting into my pizza when it's super hot. It burns my fingers and it just makes a mess. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes, cut it up. But wow, I am so ready to enjoy this. This is gonna be so good. Today is Sunday and I didn't film an outro for this video and I didn't film on Saturday. I don't know why I didn't film that much yesterday. I think I was just pretty busy. Like I had to rush a little bit. I ended up going to the movies with my mom and then I had friends come over last night and I'm a little hungover this morning, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I, at my big age of 26, I need to just say no after two glasses of wine. I just can't do any more than that. I'm not like super hungover this morning, but I just don't feel the greatest. So I've been kind of rotting on my couch a little bit and I finished editing this video besides this clip, of course. So I'm gonna export it and upload it and start a new one in a little bit once I get my bearings <laughs> a little bit more. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Nonetheless, I'm trying to get back into the swing of filming these weekly vlogs and just filming in general. Cause once you get out of the habit of it it feels a little bit unnatural at first so i'm trying to get better at it hopefully within the next couple weeks i feel better about filming this much yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and nonetheless i will talk to you in my next one very very soon